low magnesium levels are causing a major epidemic, uh, making vitamin D ineffective. Up to 50% of the population here in the United States, uh, it shows that they are deficient in magnesium. Uh, this is so important. We're looking at osteoporosis, osteopenia, fractures. A study uh, February of uh, 2018 uh, by the Journal of the American uh, Osteopathic Association. The problem here, they found that vitamin D can't be metabolized without sufficient magnesium levels. That means that the vitamin D remains stored and, 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 and inactive uh, in the bloodstream. So obviously, if uh, vitamin D is not there, uh, it's not going to allow uh, calcium uh, to get into the bone, and obviously you're going to eventually have problems. Uh, the problem here is not only this, but uh, we're looking at uh, uh, vascular calcification. Uh, people who, who are having problems of building up of uh, calcification in the arteries, leading to stroke or uh, heart disease, if magnesium levels are not high enough. Uh, we look at the recommended uh, allowance of magnesium, 420 milligrams for males, 320 milligrams for females. The standard diet in the United States contains ab only about 50% uh, of that amount. Uh, as much as uh, half of the total population, it's estimated, are magnesium uh, deficient. Uh, that's a serious issue. And the, here, the problem here, and I want to uh, go over something really important, uh, that when researchers looked at this over the past few decades, they look at the agricultural changes of the industrialized agricultural uh, land and soils and stuff. Uh, magnesium status is low in populations who consumed processed foods that are high in refined grains, fat, phosphate, and sugar. And obviously today we spend so much of our diet eating sugar and processed foods, and we wonder why we are deficient in magnesium. I just want to show you this uh, when it comes down to uh, certain foods. This is just a general uh, thing for you to look at. You can get more information on Google, but the foods that are usually high in magnesium include almonds, bananas, beans, broccoli, uh, brown rice, cashews, egg yolk, uh, fish oils, flaxseed, green vegetables, milk, mushrooms, other nuts, uh, oatmeal, pumpkin seeds, sesame seeds, soybeans, sunflower seeds, sweet corn, tofu, and whole grains. Uh, wow. This is something so important. So we're taking calcium and uh, it's not getting assimilated because vitamin D is not around, because magnesium is not around. So just be aware of increasing magnesium in your diet because the fact that uh, the refined foods and sugars we're eating are causing the magnesium to become deficient. The problem is that uh, when we get our blood work, no one's checking for magnesium. Hard to find. So. I hope that this information is helpful for you, all people out there who have a, a low or, or, or let's say positive bone density tests uh, where you are deficient in calcium. Uh, we got to go to the right source. Remember, uh, we need magnesium to help vitamin D do its job to allow calcium to get into the bones to keep you strong and healthy. I hope that you will share this video. Uh, this is really uh, cutting edge stuff because, uh, you know, everyone out there, uh, particularly thousands of people sending me uh, messages, emails, what's the best calcium to take? Well, before we go that route, let's make sure we get our uh, magnesium because we need vitamin D to allow calcium to get into the, into the bones as well. I ask everyone out there to make it a great day. Please subscribe. Check me out, Motivational Doc, on Facebook. Leave your comments below, and we'll catch up with you on our next video. Bye-bye now.